These homemade sourdough English muffins are delicious, easy to make, and so much better than any you could buy at the store. They are crusty, chewy, and fluffy, the perfect combination for any sweet or savory breakfast. Pour 300 grams or one and a quarter cups of water at room temperature in the bowl of your stand mixer. Add 10 grams or three quarter tablespoons of vegetable oil. Add 25 grams or a third of a cup of sugar and 125 grams or half a cup of ripe sourdough starter. Mix all the ingredients to incorporate the sourdough starter until it dissolves in the water. Now, add 500 grams or four cups of all-purpose flour. Add a little of the flour first, and then add 12 grams or half a tablespoon of sea salt. Mix the flour and the salt well with all the other ingredients, and then add the rest of the flour. Knead all the dough in your stand mixer until the dough starts to pull off the walls of the bowl. It should take about 20 minutes at low speed. You can also make this dough by hand, but today I'm going to show you how I make it in the stand mixer. When your dough is ready, get it out of the bowl and stretch and fold it on itself. Until you have a dough that is soft and elastic. Place the dough in a greaseproofing bowl and cover with plastic wrap or a plastic lid. Let the dough proof for about eight hours or until it doubles in size at least. I will let this dough proof overnight on the counter at room temperature to have English muffins ready for breakfast. The next morning, my dough looks ready. I am now ready to make my English muffins. So get the dough out and place it on your working table. Stretch and fold the dough carefully on itself. Use a silicone spatula to make a bowl with your dough and let the dough relax for about 10 minutes, covered with a towel. Now, to cut your English muffins, you can stretch your dough and cut them with a 3 inch biscuit cutter. But I personally like to do this a different way. That ensures better results with this dough at this hydration. And believe me, it is easier to do it this way. So, cut your dough in 10 to 12 equal pieces. You can use a food scale if you want equal pieces, but today I will just do it by hand, since I wanna do it fast. Once you portion your dough, make balls with your dough, making sure to add enough tension to the dough as you roll your balls of dough on your working table. Place all the balls of dough on a prepared baking sheet with parchment paper or a baking mat and dust the whole surface of the baking sheet with cornmeal or semolina. Sprinkle some cornmeal or semolina on your dough balls. Push the dough with your hand to shape the dough into the English muffin shape. Cover the baking sheet with a plastic lid or some plastic wrap while you prepare your cooking station. Preheat a cast iron on medium heat for about five minutes. Then place the English muffins on the hot pan. Cover the pan with a lid if you have one. This will help your English muffins cooking faster and better. After three minutes, 
Rotate your English muffins 90 degrees and keep cooking them for another 3 minutes with the lid. When the muffins are golden brown on the base, carefully flip them around and continue cooking them on the other side. Press the dough on the top of the English muffins to assure that the whole base of the dough makes contact with the hot pan and keep cooking for another 6 minutes with the lid on. When your English muffins are done, place them on a cooling rack and keep cooking the rest of the English muffins on the cast iron pan. In the end, your English muffins should look like this and have a grey golden color on the crust. To open your English muffins, use a fork and poke holes all around your muffins. Then, use your hands to tear them apart slowly so the inside of your muffins gets this amazing texture. Toast your English muffins always and you should be ready to eat them with your favorite sweet toppings like this blackberry marmalade or savory toppings like this Canadian bacon, poached egg and delicious hollandaise sauce for eggs benedict. These sourdough English muffins have the perfect texture and combination between crunchy crust and soft crumb. They are delicious. Enjoy them. Hey, I really hope you get to try this easy recipe. If you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new video every week. Thank you for watching.